a long year ago, before I worked here. The railway was acted very quiet. Some railways had no one even noticed what is something about the four new engines that came. But there is one engine who came here. People call him the Pink Engine because he was painted pink, just like Seventeen, the Pioneer Tank Engine. He loved this job for his work, and he doesn't mind、uh, those diesels for several times. And even know that the diesels that he was watching the diesel working, there always a、uh, one diesel who always work here to send sodor, bulko. He was useful, but kind. Everyone was impressed by that pink engine, and he loved him very much. And so, every engine, they knew everything and what they were for work. The pink engine needed to be here for several works. He knew everyone, and everyone knew him. Except one of those diesels who was not friendly at all. In fact, they are disrespectful diesels. They are careless, rude, and bullied, and trying. To scrapping steam engines on their own, except for one. One of them is the worst, and he had a scar on his lip, and his and his left eye had a scar too. And they are trying to crunching steam engines for scrap. The big diesel heard puffing sound until she stopped. He saw something. It was the pink engine puffing by in the line. The pink engine did see the big diesel, so she went to hide. So the pink engine hides into the shed, watching the diesels working on their own goods. And the pink engine watching furiously whatever that the diesels were did to them. He was offended that the diesels are traitors, and no one are friendly at all. And so, the pink engine went into the docks to see what was looking for them. At the harbor dockyard, the pink engine looked around the diesels. Trying to bully the steam engines, and so the pink engine stopped and looked around and surrounded on the dockyard. And then she saw the sea, and she noticed a little tank engine sleeping in the siding. All of a sudden, it was bumped from behind and began rolling towards the edge. Then the pink engine looked back. There, standing at the back, was the big diesel, smirking. And before anyone could say anything, the tank engine rolled off the edge and plunged into the deep cold sea. None of the cranes were long enough to pull the little tank engine from the water. And even lonely as the cooler was. It will be far too late when they arrived. The engine was lost forever. The pink engine was shocked, but very furious and very mad too. Then he noticed something.、It、was the big diesel? He was watching in the sea, and all the boat cranes with a massive grin on his face. It was now obvious. He had killed that poor little tank engine, and earlier he doing it the same to the pink engine. But the pink engine, that was the final straw.
that night. Some diesels are inside the shed, listening to some radios and telling jokes in each other. They are laughing and they are cruel for the several times, but soon the laughing will quickly stop until they hear clattering. They thought it was a rolling stock or something, but they weren't. She saw something nearer and nearer on the shadow on her door windows. And whatever it is, so she opened the door right in front of him that the mist cleared. There, right in front of him, was the pink engine. He was wearing a mask and he had a weapon attached to his buffer. All they could do as the pink engine charged into the shed and they heard everyone crunching and splattering blood and the muffled cries of those inside. So the pink engine back out of the shed and trying to put his flamethrower and the diesels are burned alive and those inside. As his weapon had dropped off, so she went to go in next to the big diesel for a punishment. The big diesel was sleeping in their shed. Then all of a sudden, it was bumped from behind, began moving. The pink engine pushed furiously at the big diesel. So she pushed it even faster and faster, very quickly, too quickly. As he moved too quickly, it was heading towards the curb. Out of shape, so the pink engine went and yelled. The diesel was still trying to stop, but he couldn't. He was out of control. He was moving too fast as he ran off the tracks and he plunged into the ravine. A loud, massive crash was the last sound that the diesel made. As the pink engine rolled away, no one will notice that. That morning, no one ever did to find the that pink engine. But the three bully diesels didn't go unnoticed. The shed had been burned, and the three diesels had been completely dead inside. And no one even heard the two diesels. And one of them has been burned into the ground. His cooling fan was melted, and what there was, it was debatable. The diesel was totally in pieces and burnt for his pain. No one knows or wants to know where the pink engine is now.